you go to work expecting you're gonna make something to buy for your family, not to lose your life. It's just hard. 48-year-old Daniel Martinez was the man killed in a tragic bee attack yesterday morning. And tonight we are learning more about the kind of life he lived. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Guy Ashley. And I'm Stella Inger. The bee attack happened in a Drexel Heights neighborhood yesterday morning when the sounds of landscaping disrupted the hive. Nine on your sides, Jenny Martinez spoke with Daniel Martinez's younger brother and tells us more about who he was. Well, Stella and Guy, I did speak to Martinez's family and they tell me that he was afraid of bees wow. and he was the type of guy that he would take his shirt off his back for everyone. He loved his family and most of all, he loved his job. Something really unexpected. Abel Cabrera was at work when he received the devastating phone call that his older brother, 48-year-old Daniel Martinez, had died. An accident that left his family at a loss of words. From there on, everything just collapsed. Cabrera says his brother was kind, humble, and most importantly, caring. Always helping everybody. Martinez was a landscaper. He started his own company a few years ago after he lost his job because of a car accident. And despite his own financial stability, he was always eager to help others. Try to help people out, especially with their budgets and everything. Being that he understood. Martinez loved three things. His, his main thing was he, went, he worked, took care of his family, went to church. And heading to work Monday morning was no different. Except this time, this hardworking family man wouldn't go back home. You go to work expecting you're going to make something to buy for your family, not to lose your life. It's just hard. Martinez was killed by Africanized bees after being stung thousands of times while working at this home on Camino de la Tierra and Valencia. Officials say the two hives weighed more than 150 pounds and had been growing for more than six months. His family says if he knew they were there, he would have never got close to the home. Granny no. wouldn't have tried. He, he wouldn't have tried. He was afraid of them. Now, Martinez leaves behind a young stepson and his wife. His family has started a GoFundMe page, as you can see right here, uh, for his uh, funeral arrangements. Wow, what an unexpected uh, death and uh, being afraid of something and then it killing you, those hives. Mm -hmm. It is That's so it. sad. It, I think this is pretty much the saddest story that mm -hmm. I've covered so far. Thank you, Jenny.